Uh, my name's Jason Donovan, and how are you feeling? Well, Jason Donovan, I'm glad you asked. I don't know if you remember me, Jason Donovan. We worked together for a long time, and I wondered if you'd remember me. But I'm feeling, gosh, I'm elated now, Jason and friends. Uh, I was really nervous for the show. We've had lots of press in, lots of friends and family, so to have it all ticked off feels beautiful. Oh, Jason Donovan, I'm feeling great. I mean, before the show, I was so excited, and now I'm just elated. I'm so proud of us all. Hiya, Jason. Thanks so much for that question. Um, it felt electric. It felt amazing. The audience is buzzing, and it just feels amazing to finally be open. Thanks for asking, Jason. Uh, it's pretty special. I love this show. I love everyone in it, and I feel very, very grateful to be here. Hi, um, this is Miana here. Um, I have a question for the cast. If you could time travel anywhere, where would you go and why? Miana, if I could travel to any point in time, I'd go back to when my football team was successful in the 1960s. <laughs> I would time travel back to the late 60s to an Etta James gig in some dirty dive bar. Burnley Football Club. You haven't even heard of them. <laughs> Funny, actually, I thought about this the other day. I think being an adult, when you're younger, you always say, like, I want to be an adult, I want to be an adult. But actually, when you're an adult, the other day I thought, I wish I was like 10. What point of time I would like to travel back to? Do you know what? If it was like ancient times, probably ancient Egypt. And my mum was doing my washing and, and cleaning and cooking a lovely meal because she cooked banging. Or I would like to travel back to the 80s because I think the clothes, the vibes, it would just be fun. Hello, I'm Joss Stone. I am the composer lyricist for The Time Traveler Wife with Dave Stewart. And I would like to ask, what is your favorite Eurythmic song? I have mine. What's yours? Easily, Sweet Dreams Are Made Of These. The biggest banger of our era, surely. Uh, Joss, my favorite Eurythmic songs will be uh, Sweet Dreams. Oh, good question, Joss. My favorite Eurythmic song would be um, Must Be Talking to an Angel, Must Be Talking to an Angel. That one, tune. Oh, okay. I, well, obviously, Sweet Dreams is a banger. I also like Here Comes the Rain Again, which I think is Dave Stewart's favorite as well. So. Hi, this is David Allen Stewart, composer, lyricist for the show Time Traveler's Wife. I want to ask you, what's your favorite Joss Stone song? Oh, oh, that's easy. You had me, you lost me. That one, absolute tune, absolute banger. Thank you, Joss. Don't you want to ride? Bop. Well, Dave, thank you for asking. My favorite Joss Stone song, as many others would agree, I'm sure, is Super Duper Love. Your love is super duper when a minute. Hello, my beloved cast of Time Traveler's Wife, Lauren Gunderson, adapter and book writer of the musical. My question is, if you could sing someone else's solo, what would it be? Oh. <laughs> if I could sing another cast member's solo, Lauren, I would sing uh, this time um, that Claire sings Joanna Woodward. Uh, it's just such a beautiful song and I quite like that she gets to sit down all the way through. Um, Journeyman. Has to be Journeyman. It's epic. This is a good question. Thank you, Lauren Gunderson. If I could sing another cast member's song, it would have to be Dave Hunter singing Journeyman because I absolutely love that song and that's the one I would want to sing. Great question. Uh, Lauren, the song I would sing, easily Journeyman. Now, I wouldn't expect them to lift me because that would be a hell of a shift like they lift David, but I love to sing it because it is a rock ballad. Rip me apart, shoot me straight through the dark. I'm a chirpy man. Oh, big shot! I'm Anne Hegarty. Uh, you may know me as the governess from The Chase. And my question for the cast is, is Nat Purnell behaving himself? Because we were in Panto last Christmas and uh, he had to dance around me while waving maracas. <laughs> Hello, the governess. Uh, Nathaniel is not behaving himself, I'm afraid to report, so uh, give him a good ticking off. Hello, I'm Richard Arnold. I'm delighted to be here at the opening night of Time Traveller's Wife. Particularly delighted to wake up in a skip outside Nando's with the rest of the cast, which I assume is what you'll all be doing at the after party. <laughs> um, Richard Arnold, um, I don't think I'll be ending up in a skip outside of Nando's. Look at this dress, no way. <laughs> 
Well, I'm glad you asked, Richard, but uh, absolutely not. As you know, we've got a show tomorrow because the wheel keeps turning, so I'll be off to bed probably immediately after this interview with a nice cup of tea and a warm pair of slippers. Hi, I'm Shelley Maxwell, choreographer of The Time Traveller's Wife, and I would love to ask the cast this question. Who is the naughtiest cast member? Tim. Tim. Tim Hendren. Tim Hendren. Tim. Oh, Shelley Maxwell, you and I both know the naughtiest cast member is Tim Mahendran, my co-star, because he is cheeky and gets away with murder. Shelley, 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 who's the naughtiest cast member? You already know the answer to this, it's Tim Mahendran. <laughs> the naughtiest cast member, Shelley. Uh, I think it's a toss-up between me and Ross Dawes. Um, I'll probably go me because he tells me to shut up all the time in the wings, so I'll probably go me. So if we were to ask our cast a question, I think we would say, which period of time would you like to time travel to? Which musical would you like to time travel to? Uh, being the original cast of. Oh, that's a good Is that question. good? You get any other ones? Yeah. Can, can you be? No, no, that's, that's the best. That's it. Uh, thank you, Bill and Colin. Um, I've never heard of you, but I'm assured you're excellent people. Um, I would love to travel back to the original cast of Les Mis because David Burt was there and I know for a fact he was a bit of a hellraiser and got into all sorts of hijinks. I want to go back and see him firsthand. That's a good question from Colin and Bill there. Um, I don't know, I think maybe, I think I'm going to be a, like an old stagey boy here. I'll go Les Mis because the, the um, success it's had. I'd love to sit there with Colm, Colm Wilkinson and be like, hey bro, how'd you do it? Oh, that's a good question. Thank you, Colin Ingram and Bill Buckhurst. Um, I think I would travel back to be in the original cast of In the Heights on Broadway, um, because I just think it would be incredible, the environment, the, the group of people that are about to have insane careers. It would just be amazing to be a part of that. Cabaret, cabaret, cabaret. I'm going to get known for saying cabaret really loudly in every interview, but obvs, it would be cabaret. The Time Traveller's Wife is on stage. Yes, that's right. Get your ticket. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs>